everyone. Guess what mother effing day it is. It's Black Pink Day, finally. Oh my God, after basically two years, we're back with another Black Pink unboxing. Today, I wasn't even about to vlog actually, cause technically there are two releases coming out today and I was just gonna like cool it with the vlog. But I told myself, if Target had these albums in stock, then I would do a vlog. And since I'm doing the vlog, you know what that means? We're at Target. Cause y'all, like this time they actually for realsies have the album. I was shocked cause you guys may know that like Target has been failing me these past like what, like three to four shopping like vlog unboxings. When I checked the Target app last night, it literally had everything in stock, like all the Blackpink, all the NCT, so here we are. I'm actually also gonna go to Barnes & Noble because Barnes & Noble actually has all the digipacks in stock and not Target. So I obviously wanna get that for this video as well. So it'll be like a double feature, Target and Barnes & Noble. So yeah, Target, you're redeeming yourselves. Hopefully you guys keep this up. But yeah, anyways, I can't believe we're actually getting Blackpink now. I'm also gonna be getting NCT 127's comeback because of course they had to have their comebacks on the same day, so yeah, it'll be like a double feature. So if you're gonna watch my NCT vlog, that's probably gonna go up tomorrow. I'm gonna have to use the same vlog footage, so I guess you'll get like another sneak peek, but yeah, anyways, a two-in-one. Never thought I would see this day happen, but yeah, anyways, let's go. It feels good to be back. Wait, I'm gonna need one of these. Nothing like good old Target at 8.30 a.m. Do you guys see it? There it is. Oh my god. Y'all. Classic though. This calls for. I bring the pain like... Yeah, anyways, let's check out. We have everything else, so. You guys, this may have been one of the most successful shopping trips ever. I just feel like Target's really welcoming me back, you know? Just blessing me today with a great shopping haul after they failed me these past couple weeks. So did manage to snag everything up. I guess like this is just the thing now with like YG albums. I just, I've noticed that recently a lot of YG albums are packed like this with this like loud ass crinkly plastic. But I think it's because of like this. It's like more eco-friendly apparently. So I appreciate that, you know, <laughs> it was a little loud like grabbing it from the shelf. The usual worker was there like always. So I was trying to kind of like hurry up because I was filming, you know, it would have been a little awkward, but yeah. Oh my goodness. These look so, so pretty. These like box packaging. Oh my goodness. This is the gray version. <gasps> It says all of the inclusions on the front and the Target exclusive comes with a folded group poster and a random sticker. Like member sticker maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. So yeah, that's the gray one. And then we got the pink one. Ugh, again, so pretty, the classic black pink colors. And then this one is the black one. So yeah, and the reason why I said this was such a successful shopping trip is because I actually got to price match this time, which I'm so happy about considering like for some reason they decided to like double the price for like US suppliers for some reason. It's usually $48.99 per album, which is like insane, you know, but I made sure to go to, I didn't do self checkout because like there were like two employees that didn't look that they'd be willing to do the price match. I found this chill 
employee and luckily she did it for me so i'm so happy like i didn't price match everything for like the same price because like the listing i found for apparently for like all the versions they were like different prices and like i was like showing her on my phone so obviously i couldn't like lie about it in her face but yeah so the pink version i got for 21 dollars the i think the gray version i got for 24 and then the black version i got for 25 so still like half the price you know pretty damn good you know because like i wasn't about to pay 50 dollars per album like are you kidding me and then for the because i also got um i can show it in this vlog but i got nct two baddies the target and the regular album one and she even asked me, she was like, oh, do you have price matches for these albums too? And I was like, oh shit, because I wasn't prepared to. Because first of all, these albums are like not that expensive for like Target prices, you know? Like, they were um, $15.99 each, so it wasn't even that bad. So I wasn't going to price match, but she asked me in the moment and I was like, oh shit. So I was like trying to like go on my phone on Amazon, just like trying to search for like a cheaper listing than that. But there was someone behind me and like I didn't want to waste her time, you know? So... When I couldn't find it, I was like, okay, it's fine, whatever, you don't have to. Because, like, $15.99 is not even that bad, honestly. Like, I mean, if I had known, I would have obviously price matched, but I didn't expect her to ask me that, too. So, yeah, this employee was definitely 100% chill. I hope I get her again when I need to, you know, price match something else. I think when I saw the, after she scanned it, I think the total was, like, 180 So, I saved a pretty buck there, but, yeah, anyways... I'm gonna, uh, it's only 8.38 right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go home and, like, unbox these real quick so I can, like, pass the time. And also, I have work soon, so, yeah. And then I have to go back out to Barnes & Noble when it opens at 10 a.m. to get the digipacks. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. The Barnes & Noble is literally right there, so I have to come back here, but I'll see you guys in, like, two seconds. Alrighty, guess where we are? If you guys can tell, my face is a lot more orange because here at Barnes & Noble and the building is bright, the sun is shining, so anyways, we're back outside. I did film the unboxing parts of those albums, but now we are here. It's a little past 10 a.m. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Blackpink Digipacks, and then someone just pulled up right behind me. We are gonna grab the Blackpink Digipacks, and then we're also gonna grab the NCT other version, I guess, cover that I need. So let's go. You go. Okay, it's another successful shopping trip. So obviously I can't really film much in there. There's not really much to film in Barnes & Noble because most of the time they're not like out on the shelves already. So I have to like ask an employee, they find it and they just like check me out right away. So there's not much to film, but they did have everything that I was looking for. I did get all four copies of the Black Pink Digipack. They had them in stock and for a second, I got scared because um, she asked me what ver what member I wanted, and I asked her. I want. I told her I wanted all four, and she was like, "I think I only have three, but let me check." But she had all four, so oh my god, I can't believe Black Thing have digipacks now. But this is Chizu's. It's a lot like taller than I expected it to be, but <sighs> OMG. And then we have Jenny's, and then. Lisa's and then Rose. So yeah, these were each $27.99, which was kind of painful. The online price was the same, so I couldn't even like price match it with the online price. I did, however, price match for this one for the online price because people told me in my last vlog that you can do that. Because Barnes and Noble usually is like a little cheaper online, so it was like 10% off. So this one was $17.99. I just asked her if I want if I could get the online price. She said yes. But yeah. I can't believe the Digipack is $27.99. Like kind of crazy. But anyways, let's just go ahead and go home and unbox these. Yay! Alrighty. Yeah. I can't believe we are here unboxing a new black pink album. Like a full group Blackpink album, you guys. Believe it or not, I think this is my own, like only my third Blackpink unboxing on my channel throughout my entire existence of my channel. So, 
yeah, kind of crazy, but here we are. Of course, we just have the photo book, I guess the box set version right now, because obviously I need to make do with my time while I wait for Barnes & Noble to open for the digit packs, but that will be obviously like later, because yeah. But as of now, we do have the box set Target exclusive covers, I mean, copies. We have the black version, the pink, and then the gray version. So yes, let's waste no time and just get right into this unboxing, starting with the black version. Okay, so this is what this fancy schmancy box looks like. You guys know I love a good box packaging, so yes. I put it in this plastic, this very loud plastic. <laughs> but I guess for the sake of it being more eco-friendly, so I very much appreciate that. OMG. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Whoa. Oh my God. I don't want the inclusions to show yet. Oh, wow. Okay, so they put everything in this like box. Okay, that's nice. Here is the CD. Born pink. Oh my goodness. Is there not supposed to be like the foam thingy in the center? They just let it sit there? Okay. <laughs> All right, we have our photo book. Very simplistic, like they always do. But yes, let's go ahead and start unboxing. Holy crap, oh my God. <gasps> Starting off with Jisoo in this outfit, what? <gasps> oh my God, also this hair though, like the highlights at the ends whoa okay and i can't really see the background but there's definitely something there so i appreciate that you know because like you know how before the like the, for the album for example they just stood in front of white walls and stuff oh my goodness <gasps> definitely a step up oh my goodness gorgeous gorgeous <gasps> but yes anyways we have another black thing come back y'all can't believe the day's finally here after just months oh my goodness the bangs and this makeup oh my goodness actually insane but yeah oh my god literally i feel like they've just kept saying like blackpink's gonna have a comeback in like july june august we swear it's gonna be by the end of this year and it just never happened so i kind of just started to lose hope every time there was like an alleged comeback happening but this time it actually happened, so I'm just so damn happy, like, oh my god. If you guys didn't know, I've stand a Blackpink since their debut. I literally remember watching Boombaya and Whistle at my friend's house in like, I think it was like middle school or like beginning of high school. Yeah, they've been one of my ride or die groups, so yeah. Okay, and then we have Ms. Rosé. <gasps> Whoa, those gloves are kind of crazy with the nails. Also that, the detailed skirt, oh my god, gorgeous, but yeah. Low-key, I kind of wish they dyed Rosé's hair like dark again. I feel like I'm just, at this point, this is her natural hair color. Like I've seen her with this hair color so often, like this, she's just a natural blonde at this point, but yeah. Anyway, she still looks gorgeous, of course, but yeah, oh my god. This is just, just me sitting here opening this Blackpink album. Like, the last time I did this, I went, like, when I went to Target to buy Blackpink albums, that was when I was a freshman in college, living in a dorm, so, full circle moments. And then Lisa! Oh my god, her hair, the little, like, buns, that's so pretty. And this sweater, too. Oh, it's a sweater dress. Oh, wait, no, it's like a long sweater, but, wow, I just love all the jewels that their outfits have. Ah, oh my god they're all so pretty y'all i literally just i'm just so focused on like hyping them up i can't even like say what i want to say but yeah sorry again it's just been quite a while since i've unboxed anything blackpink but yeah clearly i love blackpink but yes that was the black version all right so now we have all of the inclusions in this little paper box so this time around, they actually did selfie photo cards. Um, they answered my prayers because we all know Blackpink albums never usually have like normal selfie cards. This time they do, they do. So I'm so, so, so excited to see them. I've already seen one on Twitter. So yeah, but anyways, 
let's take out this first. Oh, so this is like a random member postcard. We got rosés. Ooh la la. Oh my goodness, this outfit though, insane. Also, this postcard is like very thick. Like, do you guys hear that? Very sturdy. Okay. Ooh. I'm guessing this is the exclusive folded group poster. I don't know if this is a Target exclusive thing or like a US exclusive thing like groups usually do, but here's the group poster. Wow. Stunning, stunning. I'm guessing like maybe the concept matches like the color of the photo, like of the version, maybe. But yeah. Oh, oh, this is a group poster also. So this might be the folded group poster or both of them. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so it looks like we also get a sticker sheet. Ooh, has their names in the typical black pink fashion. Oh, we get another um, postcard and we got Jesus. Wow. I feel like her look is my favorite. Like, she looks like a fancy football player with those big shoulder pads. And then, ooh, we get a Polaroid and we got Jesus again. <gasps> Yay. Like, literally, this would be their typical photo card, you know, like a Polaroid, but yeah. Oh, this is so cute. She's so pretty. Okay. I'm trying to, like, grab, like, not the photo card. Oh, we get two Polaroids. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got Rosé. Wow, we got, like, matching, like, inclusions. But we got Rosé's Polaroid. Sorry, I just didn't, like, look at the inclusions for a while, so don't get mad at me, but we got Rosé. I'm just trying to find that damn, like, sticker. Oh, here it is. Wait, isn't this, like, the normal, like, pre-order benefit sticker? I swear I saw this. Maybe because this is, like, the US ex... I don't even know anymore. Oh, I'm so stupid. Maybe it's this. This is, like, the random sticker. Okay, interesting. But we also got this, like, logo sticker. I swear this was, like, a first press thing. Then we have a photo cord. <gasps> Wait, this is so cute. We got, a, wow, so many rosé and chisu inclusions, but oh my goodness, we got rosé. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe it. A selfie album card from Blackpink, y'all. So monumental, but she looks so pretty. Uh, she's like in the cur. But yeah, wow, look at all these inclusions though. All right, next we will go through the pink version. Of course, they gotta stick to their black pink colors. Literally, in my head, all I hear is black pink, just like chanting in the back of my head. <laughs> but yeah, ooh. <gasps> Whoa, it is so pink. I just love this baby pink color. I just love like pastel colors in general. Right. Oh, okay. So I guess they just have the CD just raw dogging in here. We have the pink CD. So it's gonna be a photo book for this one. I think this may be the pink concept that they posted on their teasers, which I really, really liked. <gasps> Ooh, this dress. Oh yeah, it is. <gasps> Look at that set in the background, all those pink items. Whoa, the pink eyeliner and the contacts. Jisoo, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It kind of gives me like ice cream vibes, but oh my God, this is gorgeous. But yes, anyways, time to talk about the songs, of course, because again, it's been a while since we've got Blackpink music. But yes, okay, starting off with Pink Venom since it came out first. I fucking love Pink Venom. I'm actually obsessed. I know for some reason it's very, like, controversial. Like, not a lot of people like it. And I was kind of iffy about it in the beginning, too, when I first heard it. But literally after, like, three listens, I was sold. Like, I know it's the typical, like, Blackpink structured song and whatever and sound. But it works. And I'm obsessed with it. It's so catchy. So, like... Yeah, I've been obsessed with it these past couple of weeks. Oh my god, Jenny's outfit. Oh my god, wait, I just noticed there's like a butterfly, like, jewel on her face. Ugh, it's gonna be so hard to talk about, like, 
their songs and like flip through this photo book at the same time but yeah this outfit though crazy but yeah loved pink venom for shutdown i feel like shutdown kind of had to grow on me a little bit i think it's because it was definitely a lot more different than i expected it to be you know like because you know how it had like that same i guess cadence throughout the same like violin and like yeah like there wasn't anything too crazy going on so i guess i didn't expect that whoa she's wearing a belt as a necklace that's insane but oh my goodness rosé just this all pink look oh my god so so stunning i'm obsessed but yeah shut down i mean like i said the the album just came out like less than 24 hours ago so obviously my opinions will differ like two weeks from now versus in this video so keep that in mind but yeah it did grow on me i did have to listen to it a couple of times because i didn't expect it to be like that but yeah still super good i love the music video where they like referenced all of their past music videos i like recognize them right away because y'all like it's just so distinct and i really love how they did that it would have been so cool if they did like a photo book with the music video set you know but I feel like they're gonna save that for their next like photo book like they did with the album <laughs> but yeah <gasps> Lisa this like two-toned hair uh, oh my goodness whoa that skirt is so sparkly <gasps> so pretty but yeah in terms of the other songs I really did like this mini album the mini album like first listen I had to kind of get used to a bit because again like I feel like I'm like that with all songs in general but yeah, the songs that stood out to me the most, if we have a track list, hold on, let's flip through this first. Oh my god, Model Lisa. But yes. Oh yeah, I just, are there any like lyrics in this? I just noticed, hold on. Let's flip through these inclusions first. Because there's no lyrics in the book. Or like a track list anywhere. <gasps> Oh my god, we got another rosé postcard. This is like the bigger, like, thicker postcard. Wow. Again, this dress, though, all those buckles. All right. And then we get two posters. So this is like the horizontal group one. Wow. Very, very Barbie pink-esque. Is this the same? It's not, right? Wait, am I true? Okay. <laughs> it's very, very similar, but they are different, in fact. Okay, wow, that confused me for a second, but this is the second poster. All right. So we get this sticker sheet. I'm assuming this is the random sticker that they said for the Target exclusive sticker, but here it is. Ooh, we got a Jenny postcard this time. She is my bias, so that's exciting. So pretty. Okay, let's grab the Polaroids. <gasps> Yay, we got Lisa as well. So we got all four members for the inclusions. Yay. Love that, since I love all of them. She's so sassy in this picture. I love it. And then... <gasps> Ooh, another rosé Polaroid. Oh my god, these outfits. And the back is like pink too. So pretty. Okay. And then I'm just trying to find. Oh, I guess we're seeing the photo card now. <gasps> Jesus! Oh my goodness, these photo cards, bro. Like, why do I want to collect OT4? I mean, I guess I. Wait, can I? I don't even know if I can, but no, I can't. I don't have enough albums. It's too expensive, but <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, this is so tempting, though. All these photo cards are so pretty. Okay. And then we get the first press sticker worn pink but yeah i'm actually surprised there's nothing with like the track list on it right like usually there will be something with the track list or like lyrics or something in an album hmm okay interesting that's the first time i've seen <laughs> seen something like that all right lastly we have the gray version i feel like they could have called this the white version too but This looks so like fancy too. Ooh, it kind of looks like stone or like marble or something. I don't know, but it's very cool. See, like the CD just flies out. Okay, but there's, oh, it's like a silvery gray. 
Maybe they didn't put the track list because that's how the track list for the album leaked last time. <laughs> All right, now we have the last photo book. Let's see. Oh, it's this concept. I remember this. Ooh, starting off with Jisoo again. Wow, that hair though. Oh my God, the nails too. Whoa, look at that. That's insane. But yes, okay. Hopefully I can remember from off the top of my head, but the songs that stood out to me the most, definitely Tally, like they were cursing hard. Like, oh yeah, this is literally an explicit album. Like, it's just so refreshing to see them like openly cuss, you know? Cause I feel like when you hear K-pop songs, it's usually like, I don't give a what, or like, I don't give a shh, or something like that, or like a shwit. But they were cursing and I live for that. So yeah, Tally, so, so good. I also really liked um, The Happiest Girl. I feel like that's my favorite ballad or like slow song that they've ever done, you know, out of all of their slow songs. It's definitely the most like emotional, I feel like, and the most intense. <gasps> oh my God, I remember when Jenny had this orange hair. So this is what it was for. Oh my God, so pretty. I wish she had this orange hair right now. Oh my God, it's so pretty though. And then what else? Oh yeah, Type of Girl, I really liked. What was that other song again? Oh my god, I'm trying, I'm like having a brain fart right now. Oh, 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 the Rosé solo, uh, Heart to Love, right? I'm Heart to Love, yeah. Oh my god, I was also surprised that they included another like solo song in this album because I feel like it could have gone really well with her, um, whatchamacallit, uh, her solo like um, debut, but yeah, that song is so good. Oh my god, Rosé's vocals. Love it so much. I think those three are my favorite B-sides so far. And I've also grown to appreciate um, Ready to Love. I know when it first came out, a lot of people were like, mm, it's kind of giving like a 2012 YouTube intro type of beat. But yeah, now that I'm like listening to it again though, like on the album, I don't know, I feel like I have a newfound um, appreciation for it. I actually really like it, so... Yeah, oh my god, Rosé's outfit, this like full like jumpsuit thing, crazy, he's so pretty, wow, <gasps> Lisa, oh my goodness, that headpiece though is insane, also I really like the architecture in the back, That that's so cool, I like how they like match the concept with like the color of the album, Oh my goodness, but yes, we have another Blackpink era. So, so exciting. Oh yeah, they're going on tour also. I did manage to snack tickets this time. I'm so stupid. I literally failed the first time because um, I signed up for the pre-sale wrong. I didn't do it on Weavers. I only did it on the website, so I didn't get the first pre-sale code. So I was so sad about that. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just do the general pre-sale. But they literally added a second day, the same day the general pre-sale was happening. I literally woke up to them announcing a second LA date. So I literally, because of that, I snagged tickets. Like, if it wasn't for that, because like when I went into the general pre-sale, all the tickets were sold out. So I just did the second day and I got a ticket for the second day. So ugh, I'm so, so happy to see them in concert. I've never seen Blackpink live. I missed their last concert because I was in high school, literally. And I was in school, so I couldn't, but I'm so excited. Oh my god. I even bought their light stick because I was prepared. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to say that real quick. But we have the occlusions. All right. Oh my goodness. We literally got a full rosé set for these postcards. Wow, I'm very, very rosé blessed. Can't complain, though. Look at how pretty she is. Okay. Ooh. Here's the group poster. OMG. And then the second one. Okay, this one actually looks pretty different. <laughs> wow. The background looks so cool, too. Oh my goodness, another rose postcard. Damn. She is loving me today. So pretty. Okay, oh yeah, okay, this is probably the random sticker. I got the same one as the other one, so probably this is random. I guess it makes sense now. Ooh, another rosé. Wow, for the Polaroid. Look at her. 
Okay, I guess we'll show this. We got the Born Pink sticker. Okay, here it is. <gasps> Ooh, we got Lisa. Whoa, her hair. <gasps> wow, it's so long, but so pretty. The black and blonde combination. So pretty. Okay, and then lastly... <gasps> oh my god, look at how cute this card is! We got Jenny's card. Oh my god, those like bare ear headbands. Oh my god. This is the cutest card ever. <gasps> oh my goodness, y'all. I need to see all these selfie cards on a template or something. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. Okay, but while I pack these things up, I guess I will have to see y'all in the digipack part of this video because obviously I don't have them with me. It's still 9.15, so I do have like 45 minutes, but yeah, I'll have to go back out to get those digipacks and then I'll be back. I guess for you guys though, it'll be like two seconds. Alrighty, we are back and we actually have all four digipacks out here. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting to get all four versions, but I was like, let's be real. It's been a while since I've collected anything Blackpink. I'm doing it. It's four members. So yeah, here we are. We have Jisoo, Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they actually had this on release day. Thanks Barnes & Noble for coming through again. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and unbox these. Oh my goodness, this is the first time we're getting like member digipacks for Blackpink and these are like bigger too they're not like the typical like square packaging they're like rectangular all right oh my God, this plastic again <laughs> I literally the funny thing is like I literally heard the employee coming from a mile away because of this plastic literally as she was walking this plastic was like so I, I knew she was coming but <laughs> yeah anyways that's how loud this is but what it looks like it looks so so gorgeous oh my god the text okay Ooh. oh the inclusions are back here okay that's nice okay first we have the cd Ooh, it's a member version cd wow i'm assuming this is just gonna be like a chisu um photo book let's see oh my goodness so it's the gray concept Loki would have been cool if they like included all the concept in this photo book, but honestly, it's fine. It makes sense to just have the great concept. Oh my gosh, she looks so good in this picture. Oh my god. I'm actually obsessed with her. I actually do have another set of digipacks from K-Town for you. So, I mean, I feel like that's enough albums to collect OT4 for the digipacks, is it? Because it's like one out of two, right? So low-key might collect OT4 for the digipacks, but anyways. Oh, okay. Well, I already know who we got for the photo card, but let's see this. <gasps> we get a member poster. Wow. Love her hair, too. Is this all we get, the photo card? Okay, let's take this out first, though. <gasps> well, we got a Chizu photo card. I'm not sure if the photo card corresponds with the member you buy, but... I guess maybe I just got lucky, or it's supposed to be like this. I think it's supposed to be random though, but yeah, we got Jisoo's photo card. OMG, gorgeous. And, oh, is that deadass all you get? Oh, pfft. okay, so those are all of the inclusions. Wow, kind of pricey, but I mean, this is the Barnes & Noble price, so that's probably why, but yeah. Anyways, that was Jisoo's version. And now we have Miss Jenny. This one doesn't have any like store exclusive things. Like this isn't a Barnes and Noble exclusive, but yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Again, I'm obsessed with her orange hair. Yo, that is so pretty. I know I'm a little crazy for buying the Digipacks now and then buying another set, but like K-Town for you also has like pre-order benefits. So I kind of wanted to get those as well. So yeah, excited for those to come in. And yeah, honestly, might as well collect OT4 for this, right? I probably have enough albums for it. Yo, at least I get to fulfill one part of my OT4 dream. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, she's so stunning. Oh, love her. Let's take out the poster. Ooh. This is her poster. All right, and then our photo card. Oh, maybe we do get the corresponding member. Okay, nice. We got Jenny's photo card. Wow. Oh my god, I actually love that. That means for the other set, I might low-key finish OT4 right away. That makes things so much easier. <gasps> Wait, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. All right, see, now we have Rosé's. Oh, I guess, oh, technically the album details are right here. Oh yeah, it, it's literally, it, it just says a CD, photo book, poster, and photo card. They just had to put this, why did they put the sticker here? They couldn't have put it here, you know, but whatever. Let's unbox Rosé's. All right, this is the CD. These CDs are so nice. I feel like if you have that like CD player, you know what I'm talking about? This will look so pretty on it. Or like if you display it, okay. Wow, I feel like her outfit is my favorite. I don't know, the jumpsuit and the these like arm thingies are so cool. Plus her nails. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Wow. Sorry, I, I don't know, I ran out of things to say y'all. <laughs> also this photo book is pretty short, but okay. Okay, yes, rosé photo card. Okay, so you definitely, definitely get the matching member, which is so nice. If you, I feel like if you have like member version albums, this should be kind of like the standard low key. Yeah, we have rosé's card. I think there's two versions of it though. All right, and then, oh, hers is a horizontal poster. Ooh. Last but not least, we have Lisa's. Lisa's. So I guess the only like version I'm not unboxing in this video is the Kino, which honestly is pretty good. Like usually I think I would have just unboxed like the albums, but they, at least they have the Digipacks here. So yeah, I did buy the Kino though. So that'll be in like a future like album haul video. That's probably what, when I'll unbox like my extra Blackpink copies. But yeah, we have Lisa's photo book. Again, her hair, that is so pretty. She's stunning. Ooh, look at that pose though. Congrats to her VMA, by the way. So proud of her for that. All right. And then to wrap it up, we have this Lisa card. Wow. I don't know why I keep showing the backs, they're the same, but this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, so, so pretty. Okay, and then this is her poster. Hers is also horizontal. But yeah, anyways, now that finally wraps up this entire unboxing. Alrighty, so that was my unboxing of Blackpink's Born Pink. <sighs> Again, I'm just so happy that this finally happened. I'm sure y'all are too, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this, and yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Good boy!